Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we've got a renovation vlog, home updates kind of video, which I know some of you love. I feel like if you've done a renovation before or owned a property or aspire to own a property, like I always enjoy house related content for those reasons. So yeah, I'm sure some of you guys will enjoy this video. I hope you guys do. If you do, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to really help out with my channel, really help push and promote these renovation vlogs so that I can continue to do more of them. And yeah, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab a cuppa, why not? Get some snacks and let's get into it. Oh, by the way, and if you hear any drilling noises or anything like that, I've currently got scaffolding, more scaffolding going up because I think we're pretty close to getting the roof on the extension having it watertight. That'll probably be in the next renovation vlog. But anyway, before we throw it back to a couple of weeks ago where we last left off with the previous renovation vlog, I have a sponsor for today's video, Air Up. Air Up is a water bottle that I have loved for a while now. I'm sure some of you have heard me talk about Air Up before. This bottle that I've currently got has the peach on, but I have had a delivery of a brand new flavor and this sounds right up my street. Yuzu Rosemary. I feel like for summer, nice, light, herby, citrusy. It's a bit of me, so I'm gonna try it. It's not just a box standard water bottle. I preach to grab a water bottle because you really do, with a straw, drink so much more. But this isn't just any standard water bottle. It has these pods on the top, which like I say, currently I've got peach. It's due a change. You get about eight refills worth from each pod. I tend to leave it on a little bit longer, I'm not gonna lie, because I can really like, taste it. I feel like I've got quite a strong sense of smell. So for that reason, this works really well for me. So you get these pods, this is the new one. You pop it on the top, you lift to activate and then drink. So it gen oh my God, that flavor is so good. Okay, I really like this one. It is just plain old tap water that I am drinking though. So no harsh chemicals, no calories. It is literally just this little pod that creates that air slipstream as you're drinking it and makes you feel like you're drinking flavored water when in fact it's just good old tap water. If you haven't tried it already, I would recommend you try Air Up. You can get these starter kits, which has the bottle, um, a couple of pods to start you off with, the lid, and also you can get um, interchangeable straps and lids in different colors so that you can mix and match. So this is what the charcoal bottle looks like. This is the starter set, which I'm actually really excited to try these pods. So I do actually have a discount code off the starter sets and also the colored bottles, which is Freya 10. You'll get 10% off. That code is only valid until the 26th of June though, so make sure to be quick. Put the new Yuzu and Rosemary pod on my powder blue, pale blue lid. And then this just goes on the lid, which you can see on the image like here. That's what the bottle looks like. This is the charcoal one. I just have the white one, but how cute is this? I will leave a link down in the description box below so you can shop it up. Thank you to them for working with me on today's video. Now let's throw it back a couple of weeks ago and show you the progress that we've been making. So firstly, a brief overview from the back, what the house is currently looking like outside. We have had the patio built, the steps up to the patio, and also the borders to the kind of like wall area where the doors will be. So we're having two crittle style doors fit in there, quite big ones. And then back down in the basement, everything has been plastered. I give you like a full detailed overview of everything that's been going on down there, but this is just kind of where we last left off from the previous renovation vlog. By the end of this vlog, there are quite big changes, but for here, you can see that we've had the bathroom suite kind of fit and ready in place and then also the doors put in as well. So these patio doors have been put in, they just need to kind of like finish off the edges at that stage. Then back through in the corridor, you can see we've had these fans installed, which essentially reach outside. So it just drags any kind of excess moisture out. With it being a basement, we have to be extra cautious. This one's been boxed in and is drawn out to the other side of the property. So we have two in the basement, along with the two sump pumps in the floor, just to keep everything nice and dry. And then this is what the utility room is currently looking like from when we last left off. As you can see, we've had lights installed, which makes a big difference. And we've also had the dog wash station built. 
We've had a delivery. We're very excited, aren't we? What are you being so needy for? Is it because we've had a delivery and it's not for you? Anyway, Coat Paint have kindly offered us to provide the paint for our basement uh, renovation. So I've ordered some samples. We are going to keep it nice and light and bright down there. We have gone for darker flooring, which you may have seen from Firm Fit Flooring. So the paint, I wanted to keep it quite light and bright. So I ordered, they've got these sticker samples, which are amazing, by the way. So genius. The fact that you can just remove the backing sticky and you can position it in different areas switch it around so you can see exactly what the sample is going to look like in different lights and obviously it saves on having to buy a sample pot to paint here there and everywhere so yeah these are genius i ordered the white pack which comes with these four um samples and then i also ordered just one of these uh little sample books just so we can see all of the different paints that they have to offer so um the finish of them that they do they do flat mats for walls and ceilings they do a soft sheen for kitchens and bathrooms which obviously we've got the bathroom down there eggshell for wood and metal trim so all of the kind of woodwork the skirts the um doors and everything i think we're probably going to go with the same color throughout obviously just in the different finishes and they do actually do an exterior one as well i think this is the one we're going to go for screenshots which is kind of relevant for the industry that i'm in <laughs> But this is mindful. These never really show up on camera as they do in real life. So it's quite hard. And also different lighting. Like when I got this yesterday, this one looked very pinky and purpley. Which I do think I can kind of see a hint of it now. But different time of day, different lighting. It looks completely different. Screenshot I think is the one we're going to go with. It's a brilliant white that they class on their website. But it, I think it does have a slight warm undertone to it. This one is the other one that we were looking at, Low Salt, which definitely is a more of a cool tone, has a greyer undertone to it. And then this, Pampers, of the samples, this one's my favourite, but for down in the utility room, you can see in comparison to the screenshot that it is quite a lot darker. So I figured maybe use this one on the ground floor when we get round to um renovating downstairs whereas the basement i do think we need to keep it nice and light and bright so screenshot i think it's going to be the winner we were torn between these two low salt and screenshot because the utility room that we've gone for the cabinets from howden's are in dove gray so i know i tend to avoid grays but it's quite a nice light warm gray and there is chrome in that room as well exciting delivery this has all just arrived. So this is how it arrives. I love the packaging. <laughs> I know it's just a paint company, but honestly, the branding and everything of this company is just insane. Love it. Climate Positive Paint Company coat. So it comes in these kind of like canvas bags. Let me get this one out. Ooh, how exciting is this? So this one is a wood interior eggshell this one so these ones come in 2.5 liters the online website just has a really easy kind of measuring tool where you just put in the length the width and the height of the rooms and it calculates how many tins you'll need i've started a mist coat for everywhere for now i've got enough for two coats of this which i think is going to be plenty i will of course keep you guys posted as they start painting here I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what the mist coat is looking like on the plaster. You can see the difference there. And it's just a plain white, white matte emulsion. Then I've also been shopping for some granite and quartz and also some tiles for the dog wash station, which I'll show you what I've gone for in just a second. You stay there. I've put the hoover there. He's not really a fan of the hoover, so I'm hoping he won't jump past it, but Oh, you can see outside on the floor it is can you see there tipping it down i was going to share with you outside but i'll do that um when it stopped raining <laughs> you know, look at him he's desperate to come past so a little kind of basement update this is the side of the stairs which is now obviously all exposed because we knocked this all through and at some point when we do the internal renovations for all of here obviously this bit will be finished but for the basement guys um, we had this little hatch taken out as well and the door frame built back so that the staircase was less steep and so that we had more headroom height to get into the basement from there um so yeah this is how it's looking we decided it's a bit of an unusual thing you can't really see it because they're 
obviously protective for paint but we decided to go with a master switch so if you turn it off every light that is on downstairs gets turned off that's just that little light that you can see there is just natural light from the window so that if like I say if you get to the top of the stairs and you think oh there's a light on down there somewhere just flip off the full master switch to turn them all off. Obviously the only problem with that is if I'm coming in through the utility door with the dog post to walk to wash him down and I go to flick on the lights in there, if this is switched off, that won't turn on. So we probably will keep it on the whole time, but it's just in those moments that you get to the top and think, oh, I don't wanna have to go down and find out where the light is. Just sw switch it off here for now. Um, and then this is just corridor um, light for here. And then I'll take you down. We've obviously had lights in and all the walls plastered now. We just need to order some skirting board and architraves for the skirts and the doors. <laughs> all the doors are here now. We just need, to, in fact, that's a lie. That door there is arriving on, um, I think in about like three or four days time. This one here and the gym and bathroom ones are here though. We decided as you can tell to keep this section open here into the utility room. Just keep it nice because it's quite a narrow frame. We just like rather than box it in let's just keep it as an open flowing system. So this is where I was talking to you before about in a previous vlog about mostly we have antique brass switches. So in here because we've got grey cabinets and chrome finishes I didn't want antique brass in there because it would clash I think we're just going to keep with white in here um, and to, to be fair we've actually got white throughout antique brass sockets and switches can be switched at a later date so we're just going to get the basement fillet finished <laughs> finished for now and worry about switching all these over on another day um so yeah this is the utility room how it is looking door is in dog wash is done it just needs to get tiled we've added this hatch here to be able to click and access underneath i've just gone and picked up these tiles that i went for from tops tiles they are called the Lampus Cloud. So they're kind of like a, let me get one out to share you, to share you, to show you. They're like a longish metro style tile. What is that stuff on it? Oh, it's just like a protector thing. Um, that kind of has a slightly darker edge. So I've gone for a grout to match that and also the tiles that are in the main bathroom, the dark beige ones, that's gonna go on the base with that same kind of beige grout. It'll make it look really seamless. Um, I was gonna go for white grout, but it just, it's a dog wash station, so I thought I can't go, you know, true white, because it'll just get dirty. So yeah, they are the tiles that we've gone for. They were expensive, I'm not gonna lie, for tiles. We could have gone for like a much cheaper kind of metro style, but I just love the, it's like an irregular shit. I'll put an image on screen of what their image is like with the beige grout, so you can kind of see, it kind of looks like, I'm not gonna lie, some people will probably think it looks a bit dirty, but I really like that look. So yeah, they were expensive, but because we're only tiling with these tiles on this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, probably the back as well because it will just be the base that's in the dark beige and then this and the front. So the sides we're just going to paint in the same colour we use on the walls which is screenshot from, um, and then this one as well, screenshot from coat and then the units which are arriving tomorrow will go all the way up to here so then once the units are fitted these are sockets plumbing for our sink sockets for our washer dryer once the units are in i'm going to get someone to come and measure up and sort all of the measurements and everything for the worktops so yeah howden's units but we're going to get quartz worktop in here then we've had this kind of stair built because obviously this was just flush to the floor, but because we underpinned, that's how much you can tell how much we've dug down. So it's two or three steps worth to be able to get up um, or get into the room, I should say. The door's been fitted. We are probably gonna switch out these handles for maybe smart locks, but again, that's that can be a future project that we can figure out. And I think I'm just gonna go black handles rather than 
brass because again this is the problem that I had with like brass contrasting with chrome in here it's I'm sure it's gonna be fine but it's just like a personal preference type thing and then on this wall we've got radiator going there and I'm gonna buy these two units here which are like hang dryer type things maybe two I'm thinking just for aesthetics to be able to like sit against the wall and fold out and then they've got loads of areas you can hang clothes so we've had patches put behind these walls to be able to support that all of these sort of things you have to think in advance so that um the walls can actually support the weight of a load of wet clothes hung on there and then this is the little cubby hole that we had built just purely because this area if you remember this was actually there was an alcove here like an old fireplace so as you can tell that's how deep it went here you can tell with the window how deep it goes so rather than waste that space we thought well, we might as well have a little cupboard built here so this will probably just be a quite a handy cupboard for things like um barney's dog leads and stuff because it's going to probably sit next to some kind of boot hanging coat hook bench maybe in like a green is what I'm thinking of, but we'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it in a future day, once everything's done and we're, we're in. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about putting that here and then through here into what is the corridor, storage room. This is all getting skipped. We're getting a skip replacement in a couple of days, which is the reason why all of this is out or down here because skip's full. So that's going to be moved outside tomorrow ready for in the skip on Friday and then in here again we just have loads of the builders tools and everything and all the flooring over there that's another unit if I can get to it if you remember we will get handles for these but we just had these shelves built they're just going to be so handy for storage seeing as though this is a storage room and then obviously here is the little comms cupboard and then this for the little chamber hatch thing which lifts up and you can see it into the sump pump there where there's two there's one in here and one in the gym and then this is the other side we're going to go with just white staircase for now temporarily the same as the that we had upstairs they've just done the mist coat everywhere in this corridor and again we're just going to have the stairs done the same as we did upstairs and worry about future planning on potentially doing the um keeping the spindles white and doing the banister black and then under stair storage and in the bathroom they've just um undone the toilet i'm um, plugged the toilet because um it's ready to be tiled in here and then we'll buy a shower screen here so that it's kind of walk-in but with a step i'm thinking about getting one of those like wooden don elm have them i saw them the other day and i was like oh maybe for future like a little wooden stepper no it's not really a step it's like a i guess like a bath instead of a bath mat it's like a wooden one i thought that would look quite nice just sat there and it's kind of like a little bit of a step up into the shower sink is hung i wanted a wall hung one so that the bottle trap is on show it's brass so i'm just gonna have like a storage basket under underneath here i think with like towels or something and then this is ready for the um towel radiator Retail radiators to be hung. The reason why the radiators haven't been done yet is because they're obviously painting first to be able to hang them, so you don't have to like fiddly try and get behind the radiators or or take them back off again. So um that's why they're quite eager to get some paint on the walls and some paint here, which is now here, um, so that they can start fitting the radiators. And then they are also they've been putting screed on the floor, which you may be able to tell to just kind of level it all out and get it prepped and ready for the flooring to be put on, which is this one. This makes me very happy, 100% waterproof. It's from Firm Fit Flooring. And this is called the CW1683 Rigid Core Planks. It's gone for like a dark, um, like a kind of ashy brown. It's quite nice. I figured with it being a basement, it'd be quite nice with gym utility muddy pores to just have a dark floor. Although some of you have told me it doesn't necessarily look um, cleaner. So that's just something that we've made the decision on already. And I don't regret it. I think it will look lovely to have dark floor running throughout here. And it's obviously going to be vertical along here so that it elongates the space makes it look even bigger and then this is the gym so we've got radiator going on here we've got the sockets already on the wall for a tv which we're going to hang and this is going to be our space for um 
our kind of living room area when we move out of the ground floor and move down into here in a month or so to be able to allow the builders to crack on with the ground floor renovations at the same time as the extension. We made that decision because the utility is pretty much a kitchen anyway. Um, and then this can just be, it will be the gym, but tem oh, it's very echoey, sorry about that. Um, but then temporarily it's gonna be like a living room down here. And then obviously we've got the patio doors out here into, um, you can see me and my top knot bun here. Um, patio doors out into this kind of like walkout area which the builders the other builders who are doing the extension are finishing off this area can you see the wall there and building steps up so again when it's not raining I'll take you out there and show you and then these are the floor joists and the beams for the ground floor so yeah all, all exciting stuff this is the other little hatch for the sump pump this is what our builders done he's basically built this kind of like um board area to be able to allow the hatch to be able to lift it to gain access if ever you need to to run seamlessly with the floor so it's just gonna not stand out like a big black um industrial looking hatch it's actually gonna be the flooring with this extra trim that you can just lift up kind of thing if that makes sense so yeah this is what it's looking like, very happy. Um, these are the fans, again, these help keep humidity down to a minimum and you can just switch them on and off whenever you need to. I'm not gonna lie, this is the room I'm most excited for, but anyway, that is the updates of the basement. Oh gosh, I'm a bit, <laughs> a bit sweaty. Dewy, let's say dewy. It's another day. We've got a couple more updates to share with you. We've had, or we've just taken delivery of the Howden's utility cabinets, which is so exciting. I'm actually gonna show you something in a second. To gauge an opinion, although I might have made the decision by the time this video is uploaded, but anyway, let me flip you around. We've had updates with the bathroom. It has been tiled, um, obviously, well, oh gosh, what am I doing here? There we go. Um, we still, um, are yet to do the upstand on the edges and then obviously grout it as well and then there's going to be a little step up into the shower with it being um, needing to be raised for the waste so I don't know what we're going to do there maybe like the same white panel that's on the side just put it in there but anyway that's another time but for now this is what the tiling is looking like in here like I say the units have arrived so these are like an oak light gray and then this is the actual color of the units it's called fairford dove gray it's very very pale and i think with warmer features and the warmer white on the walls it's actually going to warm up quite nicely so my question is making a decision on what um quartz worktop to go for i know they all look very similar we've got this which is called carrera which has got tiny little threads running through it, but, and it looked very different in person. So there's a new one coming out, which I'm waiting for a sample for of that, but I do quite like that. Then these other ones are called Verona. So there's Verona and Verona Lusso, which in person, the Verona was a bit more toned down. That one had a lot more detail. Obviously you can't really tell that on the samples. This is why it's samples, it's so hard to tell. I'm thinking that complements it quite nicely, but it's almost the same color. Hence why I'm thinking like a bit more of a brighter white. And then there's this one which is called Calcutta Gold, which would actually be really nice for the kitchen, I'm thinking. Although it does tie in quite nicely here as well. Verona or Carrera. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Then fast forward a day and we have had the utility cabinets fit. This took about, I'm gonna say half a day, maybe a little bit longer. It probably took him from about seven or eight a.m. till 2 p.m. to do. And then outside is not looking too different. We are just kind of waiting on a lot of things in terms of measurements, stuff from the structural engineer, materials, and all of that kind of stuff to progress. But in the meantime, they have been cracking on with building the kind of stairs well entrance to the gym patio doors from the back so eventually we're going to match these up on the other side into the utility as well and as you can see Barney just loves taking pride of place on the top of those patio stairs overlooking what is his kingdom <laughs> that garden of his and then back down in the basement some exciting progress with the flooring so our floor is from firm fit flooring I'll leave a link to them below but it's a really easy option for DIYers as well the flooring is 100% 
100% waterproof. It's a click system LVT. So essentially it is able to be fit by all. So I even had a go myself as well and helped out. But essentially you clean the subfloor, lay from left to right, position the planks with the grooved edges facing you, and then you tap it down to secure it on the edge with the hammer provided. It's a great solution if like me, you're wanting it for utility space or bathroom space. It's 100% waterproof, great for those muddy pores and utility spaces. Unlike many other waterproof floors, Fanfit has a limestone based core giving it unmatched dent resistance and stability to heat and sunlight which is essential for us and where we have the hatch in order to gain access to the sump pump if we needed to we've just kind of measured up and cut the planks to size to be able to kind of fit over that and we're just going to paint the trim around the edge in a similar color to the floor so that is how that is looking like then back in the utility room we've had the Belfast sink fitted we now just need to wait for the worktops to be fit for the tap to be plumbed in and also for the washing machine to be fit we've had the little hole drilled out for the washing machine pipe there but then in terms of the paint we have started the first coat of the coat paint as you can tell the difference here between the mist coat versus the finished well i'd say finished coat this is actually just one coat of screenshot from coat paints and i'm so impressed even just with the one coat so there we have it that is everything that we have done so far to the property we're so close with the basement we are just getting things lined up now ready to move down there for as soon as it is ready and those finishing touches I feel like make all the difference, the flooring, the skirting boards, hanging the doors, to putting the paint on the walls, it all kind of just ties it all together. Obviously we need to get worktops for the utility as well, I need to get on that pronto because I think most places will have about four week lead time to be able to actually have it fitted. So yeah, I need to, now that those units are in, I need to get someone over to measure up and properly quote us for that. We've got a couple of quotes, but they just always have to like actually measure and see the units in place before they come around. But anyway, that is everything that we've done so far. Thank you to Air Up for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check it out via the link in my description box, which I will leave. So thank you to them. Thanks to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.